In this video, we will go through the configuration process for the standard Stripe checkout for WP eStore. This checkout differs from the basic Stripe checkout in that the checkout is not done in a pop-up window. Be sure that you have WP eStore and the separate Payment Gateway Bundle set up before following along. First, you need to enable the Stripe Payment Gateway. If you would like to still allow other payment methods to be used during checkout, you will need to enable multiple gateways. To enable multiple gateways, go to WP eStore, then Settings. Then click the Payment Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Put a check next to Use Multiple Payment Gateways if it isn't already there, then scroll down and click the Update button. Now, to enable the Stripe Payment Gateway, go to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle. Click the Gateway Settings tab from across the top of the screen. Scroll down and look for the Stripe Settings panel. Put a check in the Use Stripe Payment box. In a new tab, log into your Stripe account. From the left side of the screen, click the API link. Copy over your secret and publishable keys to the Stripe settings on your site. Use the test keys initially until you're ready to go live with Stripe. If using multiple gateways, then there will be a drop-down box presented to the customer to select how they would like to pay. You can specify the text that is displayed for the Stripe Payments option within the Stripe Selector label box. Click the Update button when complete the setup. Now, navigate to the General Settings tab to validate some of the settings and set up the test environment for Stripe. At the top is where you will specify the language, currency code, and currency symbol. Three pages were created automatically when the Gateway Bundle was installed. This next section allows you to override the default pages or set them up manually if there was an error during setup. In general, you can leave these as is. Enable testing mode in the next step. Optionally, enable debugging if you want to check where any errors have occurred during your testing. Click the Update button when complete. Disable any maintenance plugins and do a test transaction to be sure that the Stripe works as expected. Choose the Stripe Payment option in the Payment Method drop-down box, then click Proceed to Checkout. Enter test billing information. Then enter a test credit card number and other payment details. Stripe provides test credit card numbers that must be used when in test mode. You can use the Visa number 4242, 4242, 4242, 4242 when testing. Click the Submit button when complete. Go back to your Stripe dashboard and click the Payments link to confirm the transaction. Once you are happy with how Stripe is working, you can switch from Test Mode to Live Mode. In the API section in Stripe, get the Live Keys. Then, in WordPress, go to Settings, then Payment Gateway Bundle, then Gateway Settings. In the Stripe Settings panel, paste in your Live Keys and click Update. In the General Settings tab, disable Test Mode, then save your changes. 